Hey, my powerful Scorpios, welcome to Scorpio Intuition. So family, we're about to get into this energy. <clears throat> we're going to see what's coming towards us this coming weekend. Whenever you get this, this will be the following weekend. This is going to be a, a timeless. So this is going to be what should we expect this coming weekend? Messages of clarity and truth. Okay, most high. What should our Scorpios expect this weekend? Ooh, right now I do see failure so this is telling me family that there's somebody that uh that is going to try to come in and want to work on a situation they feel that uh maybe in the past they failed to act they failed to work on they failed to invest in a connection with you and i feel like this weekend you're going to run into somebody that's going to be trying to uh kind of get on good terms to start working on something that has potential to be solid i feel like this person left you out in the cold they was always talking about they were too busy they was giving to other people and they was focusing on some type of monetary game if they was dealing with other people they were holding back from you and they felt that somebody else was more um it's like could bring more to them financially as well. This, whoever this was, it was dealing with materialistic things as well. So this person who's coming into you this weekend want to work on something because in the past they was dealing, they chose other people over you for materialistic gains. And now they feel like they, whatever, whoever they chose, they feel like it was the wrong thing to do. And now with this a trader, now they want to come in and see if you're going to allow them to work on a situation with them. They, <laughs> this person's gonna try to see if 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 they can get you if they can get you to change your mind about how you feel about them, like this weekend. Like they want this person wants fast. Uh, it's like fast. Uh, a fast reaction to what they're gonna try to offer you. I see here with the eight. With the Eight of Swords interference, this person right now feels that um, they're trapped. This person feels trapped. This person's trapped in their head on how to come back. They, When they see you, I feel like this is, it might not even be planned. This might seem be like they might see you out and, and about, and it's like they're going to try to think quick. They their, their mind already has them trapped. They've been thinking about you before you run into them. So it's like they're trying to decide on how to communicate what they want to say because they know something in the past they know they didn't do right by you and this individual feels stressed out <clears throat> they feel like you are really no longer putting in effort you don't care about the connection and what you don't understand is this person is starting to obsess over connecting with you again because uh they feel that um they know that you're no longer willing to carry a connection by the, by yourself let alone with this person and now, also, I see somebody could be ending up, uh, could be getting ready to go to jail, or they could be facing some type of jail time. Right, I see right here with the tempers, they just want to be back on good terms with you. This is somebody that's really fiending for your energy, and they're hoping this weekend that they will be able to communicate that this person had an issue with communicating with you, and 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 now they're trying to find a way to get out of their head. They have this feeling, and 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 that somebody else is coming in, uh, to to take your attention away from them while you are while you are in this nine of pentacles energy. They they see um they see you have gained so much power you have gained so much financial financial stability since they chose others over you and <clears throat> And with this, this person knows that you are not willing to pretty much take their shit, do what they should. You've elevated so much. It's like, why would I put up with this? You see what I got around me, right? And this is how they're feeling. Yeah, they, they're eager to want to work on the situation with you because they feel like they failed themselves. It's not even, um, yeah, of course, like they failed a connection with you, but they feel like they failed themselves because whoever they chose over you was like a burden, like a heavy weight. And right now they're worried that they won't, that, that they won't be able to come on good grounds with you. This person wants to, wants to level out the playing field it's like they want to make something right they want you to let them back into your life but i don't and, and and they're feeling left out this person could be sick right now a lot of conflict going in um <clears throat> i feel like if this person was married married it, it, it's it's like a connection they, they were in for a while is is unhealthy 
and this person just feels neglected. <laughs> it's like they feel neglected, but they left you. And right now, they're, this weekend, <clears throat> they're going to be trying their hardest to try to reconnect a connection that you are no longer willing to be connected to. And they're just sitting back waiting. This person is very disappointed in their actions. It's so much change happening in their life and so many new beginnings happening in yours that this person feels like they're just regretting everything. They're stuck in their head on the decisions they made. They can't believe how you have moved forward. They can't believe how you have grown. And this is uh, something else that's weighing heavily on their spirit. This person is because Coming very obsessed with you um and, and they're trapped in their mind we got the devil card this person is becoming obsessed with knowing about your success let me say it again <laughs> this person is becoming obsessed with knowing about your success whatever you're doing i feel like you're laying low nobody knows what you're doing how you're doing it what you how you're getting what you get and this person is very much Focus on how you're getting what you're getting and who is giving it to you. If any, this person is up at night thinking about their own personal situation. It's like they keep replaying how life could have been if they had you in it. And this weekend, I feel like they're going to be pulling on your strings spiritually, emotionally. Um, <clears throat> and, and, and I have a feeling that this person is going to pop up. See, because they're disappointed because like they, they gave their, their love to a situation um, and now they have to compete for you. There's so many negative changes happening in this person's life. And every time they look at you, it reminds them of their piss poor decisions that they made. And this weekend, somebody wants to reach out, but they're afraid that you're going to pass judgment on them, that you don't want to deal with them. They're hoping that you're going to give them, uh, you're going to show some type of love and mercy like you used to do in the past. I do see a message coming in this weekend. And, and it's like the reason why they're taking their time, because they're trying to see in their head, how are they going? to present to you some type of love. At one point in time, you could have thought this person was going to be, was your divine counterpart. <clears throat> But I see right here, uh, Scorpio, you are really busy just doing you, living your life, uh, focusing on your abundance. You're healing. You've healed. And, and and right now, I feel like there's an energy that you're not really going to want to deal with this person. But this person is trying to make up a way to come and bring you this love offer. And they're trapped in their head about it. What a weekend. <laughs>